Hey guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today I want to talk about what is in your bag. And I definitely want to talk about sometimes how we carry around baggage without even recognizing that this is the baggage we're carrying every single day for years on end sometimes. So what are those things that you've packed into your bag? What are those things that you're walking around holding on a daily basis? And what is it that maybe you picked up at an early age and just became a part of who you are? So want to get through some of that and also how you're effectively able to deal with it and start to unpack some of those bags. So honestly and truly, a lot of what we've talked about throughout Monday, Motivational Monday has contributed to being able to unpack those bags. So some of those things include um, maybe just making sure that you're owning your truth, making sure that you're not giving in to judgment, having the right people in your circle, having goals and working towards those goals and achieving them all contribute to making sure that you're unpacking those bags. Absolutely, number one, I would say is owning your truth because once you recognize this is who I am, these are the things I don't necessarily like, but this is who I am and that's just what it is. And being able to go forward and progress and deal with it and heal from it, most importantly. Some of the things that have helped me unpack some of those bags have been um, journaling is huge. Journaling is so huge because it's a judgment-free zone and it's a safe space to just be honest about absolutely everything. Also, what has helped me is therapy. Being able to have an, an unbiased person to be able to speak to and to have comfort in and to being able to make sure that you can say anything that you need to say and someone to help you process it. Having accountability partners is absolutely key. We talked about that in another Motivational Monday. Having someone to hold you accountable to make sure that you're doing the things that you said you wanted to do. Because believe it or not, it's more difficult to hold yourself accountable than it is to know that someone's going to check in and know that someone's going to ask you those tough questions and hold you to the standard that you set for yourself. So making sure you're surrounded by the right people, making sure that the people around you are supportive, encouraging, uplifting, motivating, and inspiring. And absolutely one of the things that has completely transformed my life is having mentors and coaches in my in my circle who are telling me the things that I need to hear, not just what I want to hear. Having friends who have the permission to say, that's your insecurity talking. You don't mean that. That's your insecurity. You don't need to go down that road again. You're repeating a bad habit. That is not what you want for yourself. Just say no. And having that outside voice sometimes can help you decipher that inside voice, but make sure it's a trusted source for sure. But at the end of the day, you have to get to a point where you're willing to say, you know what? My truth is my truth. It is what it is. I embrace it and I'm whole. One of the biggest things that helped me unpack my baggage was releasing my book, 23 and Finally Loving Me. The interesting thing about that book was the fact that I'd put it all out there. I was no longer bound to some of my baggage because it was in, it was already publicly known at this point. Um, some of the secrets and the baggage and the weight of the world that I had carried for myself um, was already out there and it was already put out there for the world. So at the end of the day, I just had to accept, you know what, it is what it is. This is what it is. And I just have to be okay with it and learn to just move forward from there. Um, ultimately and truly finding peace with being open and being honest with the world um, was helpful for me. And I know everyone isn't necessarily going to be as courageous to just put it all out there for the world to read, but start to own your truth a little bit more, um, really and truly. 
And I really want you guys to start to embrace the reality that this is who I am. But you have to be careful. You can't just say, this is who I am. Take me as I am. I want you to accept who you are, flaws and all, but work on those flaws. Okay? I want you to actively work on improving the things that you aren't comfortable with. The things that you don't like about yourself, make efforts towards it and hold yourself accountable to those goals. We just passed the first of the month. Every first of the month, I do a monthly check-in on my goals. The goals I have for this year, I'm constantly checking to see, am I on track for my goals? Are the major goals that I have set for myself are they in progress? And out of the goals that I have that have quantitative value so that they can be measured or tracked, um, I have five goals that I check in every single month. When I checked in for March, four of my five goals have progressed in a positive direction. The one goal that did not decreased by a little, like it wasn't too bad. And on top of that, I know for a fact this month will be an increase because of what I've already put in place to make that change. So really and truly just evaluate, am I getting better? Am I increasing? Am I going in the right direction? And take comfort in that, but always make efforts to improve point blank period. Okay. So I want you guys to start unpacking that baggage. And that's the one thing that I do have available for you under my development coaching program. I'm willing to help you unpack your baggage. I literally will get in the suitcase with you and unpack that baggage. Let's go through it together. Let's understand together what it is that you're holding on to and how we can start to let some of that go. All right, so if you want to get started on our development boot camp, it's a five week program. You can schedule your free consultation on nicolesnetwork.net slash consultation. Um, so definitely get that scheduled so we can get you started on that process. Do not wait because a better you is so possible. With like, you could be surprised how quickly you can see results really and truly, if you just commit to the process. And that's what I'm here for, to hold you accountable to those goals that you set for yourself. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing you next week.